Hi, this is Kathy at Inking Paper with Cat. Today's project is a Halloween cracker box. You see how it's shaped like a Christmas cracker? Only this time we're going to use it for Halloween. The project is really quite simple and goes up very quickly. So let's get started. You'll need your Simply Score or other scoreboard, a piece of 8.5 by 5.5 cardstock. With the long side at the top, we are going to score at two inches. No, I just went off. And six and a half inches. Turn it so the short side is at the top. Score at one and one quarter, two and a half, three and three quarters, and five. That's all the scoring done. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to fold and burnish our score lines. This paper is Tangelo Twist by Stampin' Up. It's a nice heavy card stock so it holds up well to box making. Now we are going to use an edge punch. I'm using the Martha Stewart Spiderweb Edge Punch. And I'm going to line it up pretty much in the center. And we will be punching both ends. I like the effect that it gives to have a little bit of detail on the very end. Now we're going to use the envelopes punch. You can also do this with uh, like a square punch and get pretty much the same effect. So you want the majority of your paper to your left. You're going to line up this two inch score line with the little pointer. And you have your paper folded. So we're going to punch, go to the next fold, punch, the next fold. And you even want to do this small fold. And you want to come back and do the very end, which that'll be through a single piece of paper. Flip it over, line up the score line again, fold, We're done with that. Now we want to close up our box. For some reason my score line went off here and I'm just going to score it again to make sure it is straight.
That happens sometimes. Your stylus will jump over and you don't realize it. And of course it happens when you're trying to film a video. That's just the way it goes. Okay, let's put some adhesive on. I'm going to use Fast Fuse. You could use sticky tape. You could use Tombow, depending on uh, how comfortable you are with liquid glue. Try to get it as close to your seam line as you can. And fold it over. Now all you do is you pinch your ends in and you have your cracker. So we're going to tie off one end and then we will fill it. I'm using a black Grogang ribbon. You want to pull pretty firmly, but at the same time, you do want to be gentle. You don't want to tear your paper after you made your box. Tie a bow. I'm going to throw in some fun size candy bars. Since this is being shipped off to my grandchildren for Halloween, I know that they enjoy those little candy bars. Probably more than their parents enjoy me sending them all this candy. But that's what grandmothers are for. Now we'll just do a little bit of stamping to decorate our box and we will be done. For this particular one I am using uh, this little ghost that I've had forever so I'm sorry I can't even tell you who made it. I'm using Archival Ink. And I'm just going to do a really quick fussy cut around this since I don't have a die that matches it. A tip on cutting, if you move your paper instead of your scissors, you'll get a better cut.
simple shapes like this are not bad for fussy cutting. Uh, I'm not a big fan of fussy cutting when they're really complex shapes. Okay, now we're done with that. I'm going to take a piece of black cardstock and Whisper White, and we are going to stamp a Happy Halloween greeting. Again, this is a very old stamp. I've had it for a long time, so I apologize, but there are some really nice Halloween stamps out there. And we are going to use the Decorative Label Punch uh, Stampin' Up! product. And the saying fits in it quite nicely. And I should have let that ink dry a little bit. We will use some dimensionals to pop this up. Now for the ghost, I want to look to see where we're going to put it so that I know where my dimensionals go. And we're going to put double dimensionals on it because I want it to stand up above the sentiment. And there we have it, a Halloween cracker box. Let's see if we can get a close-up. Happy Halloween.